Hi guys, Mel Miller here from Funky Little Shack and I'm here with Ryan Carter who is a mortgage broker. Uh, we've got a two-part interview coming up for you so stay tuned for everything but first of all uh, what I want to know Ryan is actually just your opinion um, of the rising house prices, uh, lack of um, affordable housing We've got COVID at the moment with a bit of recession coming up as well. What's your opinion on um, getting a secondary dwelling in your backyard uh, now compared to perhaps in the future or yeah, what's your opinion? I guess we see it a lot. Um, it, it, we're getting to a point in Southeast Queensland and it's probably worse in you know Sydney and Melbourne where you really need a double income these days to even be able to afford yeah. a house. So, um, you know, uh, I'm a parent, I have two young boys, and it's certainly yeah. something that we talk about all the time with our kids and how they're going to be able to afford houses. So, um, and I, I guess my opinion is I think it's going to get harder and harder, it's not going to get easier. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think you can't create new land. So, from a sustainable kind of living point of view, I think. You know the secondary dwelling um, for you know, smaller families, young families, uh, or even parents um, you know, moving into that sort of granny flat rather than a retirement village is going to be uh, really important yeah. moving forward. So, um, but yeah. I do also think um, if you're thinking of doing it, probably sooner rather than later. Uh, one thing that I've noticed over the last 15 years is um, governments and banks and, and that sort of thing. They all love to change the rules, um, yeah. so um, I yeah. guess council approvals. Like if if you're actually able to put a second dwelling mm -hmm. um, on your property at the moment, um, mm -hmm. I would probably look at doing it yeah sooner rather than later, rather than delaying because um, you know potentially the council can change those rules and you know, five or ten years down the track, yeah, you may not be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally agree. Actually, um, before I started Funky Little Shack, I was working as a designer in a town planning company, and and I watched the rule change over um, over subdividing and what you could subdivide and what you couldn't, and um, you know the, the people who who missed the boat basically missed the boat, and uh, you know and that was it. So definitely, you know, you get those councils changing rules, and right now councils are really advocating it by. Like, more and more councils out there are opening up and saying, yep, have a secondary dwelling. Um, and it, the, the main reason for that, of course, is that is that they've got a lack of infrastructure. So if you can have more infill housing uh, into properties and have more people closer to where the existing infrastructure is, it's just more cost effective. And like you said, it's more sustainable. Thanks very much for listening. Thank you.